What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Jessica, and today I'm going to show you six creative ways to use peanut butter whiskey. Whether you love screwball, bird dog, squirrel, or scatterbrain, you are going to be obsessed with these six cocktails. And like always, with every single recipe, I'll teach you a new tip or trick so you can get better in the kitchen. Let's jump in. First up, we're making a Tropical Paradise Peanut Butter Whiskey Cocktail. It's a riff off of a tiki style drink, and it has lots of sweetness loaded with a coconut flavor and of course a peanut butter note at the end. You'll need some pretty basic bar tools, and then we'll start by pouring one and a half ounces of peanut butter whiskey. If you haven't yet tried peanut butter whiskey, trust me that Screwball is one of the best. The flavor is on point, it's rich, and it doesn't have any artificial taste. Next, we're going to grab one and a half ounces of your favorite light rum and then some cinnamon simple syrup. In my blog post that's linked below, I have a recipe for this or you can purchase it store bought. Then we'll go in with some pineapple juice and some cream of coconut. I love this ingredient and it makes the cocktail super rich and creamy. And then finally, almost all cocktails could benefit from some aromatic bitters. It just helps balance everything out. So once you have it all in your shaker, go ahead, give it a nice shake and then grab a highball glass filled with some pebble ice. I like to double strain in order to avoid any ice chunks getting in the drink. And then for a super simple yet really elegant garnish, we're going to top with a little bit of ground cinnamon, a couple pineapple fronds, and a little pineapple chunk. This is a great cocktail to start off if you're new to peanut butter whiskey because the taste isn't too strong and it's super delicious. Up next, we have a peanut butter and orange Moscow Mule. And I must say that peanut butter, ginger beer, and orange have become my new favorite combination. First up, grab a couple Moscow Mule glasses filled with pebble ice. If you've never bought pebble ice before, go to Sonic. You can grab a bag of about two gallons of this pebble ice for about $3. It's perfect for all your cocktail needs. To each glass, add one ounce of vodka and one ounce of peanut butter whiskey. Then we're gonna come behind with half an ounce of orange juice in each glass. The great thing about Moscow Mules is all we have to do is stir everything so you can make it directly in your Moscow Mule copper mug. And then finally, you can top it with ginger beer. You're looking for about three ounces, but if you don't wanna measure, that's fine. You can just dump it in and it will still taste delicious. And of course, we always need a garnish, so just grab a simple orange slice and pop it on your mug. For all of our bourbon lovers, up next, we have a twist on the old fashioned with some peanut butter whiskey. We'll need some bourbon, peanut butter, whiskey, and instead of a sugar cube, we're actually using simple syrup. Use 1 8 ounce or 3 4 tablespoons of cinnamon simple syrup, and that recipe, like I mentioned, is linked in the description below. And then go in with 2 dashes of aromatic bitters, and finally, top with 1 ounce of bourbon, you can use whatever bourbon you prefer, and 1 ounce of peanut butter whiskey. For this cocktail, you'll need one large ice cube, and I actually just make my own at home. You can buy a mold, I'll link one of my favorites below, for just a few dollars. And the reason we do this is because when you have ice in a cocktail, it's obviously going to melt down and dilute your drink, so a larger cocktail allows you to taste the pure flavor of the cocktail for a longer amount of time. Of course, don't forget to garnish with a little orange peel. Up next, we have a fun, unique shot of Reese's Peanut Butter Screwball Pudding Shots. These would be super fun for a tailgate or just a weekend hangout. Everyone will love them, trust me. You'll need, obviously, some pudding, and don't forget your plastic shot glasses so we can plate all of these shots up super pretty. First, start by measuring out all of your ingredients. You'll need one cup of whole milk, half a cup of cold chocolate liqueur, and of course, half a cup of our peanut butter whiskey. You're going to whisk all of these ingredients together in a bowl just until they've come together. Then slowly begin to add your package of chocolate instant pudding. We want about 3.9 ounces. Continue to stir until all of the pudding is combined and there aren't any lumps remaining. Then set a timer for about 5 minutes to allow the pudding to set. While that's happening, grab 1 cup of whipped cream. You want this chilled but not frozen. And begin to fold it into the pudding mixture. Everything looks 
a little bit goopy and not super set at this point, but that's mainly because of the alcohol that we've added. Don't worry about it. Continue to scoop all of the pudding into your little shot glasses and we're going to place it in the freezer for about 40 to 50 minutes to further thicken up and to set. Then garnish with some whipped cream and of course some Reese's cup and you've got yourself the perfect boozy pudding shot. I do have to say that I am biased to this drink. This has quickly become one of my favorite go-to cocktails and it is a peanut butter and whiskey and Kahlua espresso martini. Now for this recipe, we're using cold brew instead of hot espresso just because I know that not everybody has access to make a freshly brewed shot of espresso. The con of not using freshly brewed espresso is that we don't get that nice foam on top of our drink. So today we're actually whipping up our own cold foam that's going to go on top of our martini. All you need is some heavy whipping cream, simple syrup, and a little arm work. Whisk everything together for about 60 seconds and then you'll end up with this beautiful cream. Set that aside while we first make our cocktail. To a cocktail shaker, we're going to add one and a half ounces of espresso cold brew coffee, as well as coffee liqueur, I like Kahlua, and peanut butter whiskey. They're all equal parts, so it's nice and easy to measure out. And then we're going to come behind with half an ounce of simple syrup. Feel free to adjust depending on your personal sweetness preference. And then shake everything together in your shaker. While this is happening, pull out your chilled martini glass. And then we're going to double strain to make sure that we don't get any ice chunks in our drink and it's perfectly smooth. Then top with the cold foam and garnish with a few whole coffee beans to finish the whole cocktail off. You're going to love this one, I promise. And finally, we're ending this journey with a super sweet cocktail. This one is a sugar cookie cocktail made with peanut butter whiskey and Baileys. What I love about this cocktail is the homemade brown sugar simple syrup that we make. It almost tastes like what you drink in your Starbucks coffee. That recipe will be linked in the description below. For our cocktail, add everything to a Boston shaker filled with ice. First, we're starting with one ounce of Irish cream. I prefer Bailey's, but you can use whatever you would like, as well as one ounce of vodka and one ounce of peanut butter whiskey. Next up, we will be using one ounce of our brown sugar simple syrup. This gives the cocktail a super rich and sweet taste. I almost think this is what really helps the cocktail taste like a cookie. So definitely don't skip this part. Simple syrup is really simple to make and it's one of my goals to have everybody be able to make simple syrup at home. And then finally, we're finishing off with half an ounce of cream of coconut and five dashes of orange bitters. The bitters just help round out the cocktail so it's not too coyingly sweet. And then shake everything up and you are going to need a low ball glass for this cocktail. We're gonna be rimming the cocktail. You can either use your simple syrup or cream of coconut and then dip it in some brown sugar and cinnamon. Finally, fill the cocktail glass with some pebble ice and top it off with your cocktail. I hope that you've enjoyed this series on six different ways that you can use peanut butter whiskey. Definitely go make yourself a cocktail and I'll see you soon.